You've reached the office of Labour Party leader Jacinda Ardern. She can't come to the phone right now as she's attending to adoring crowds throughout Aotearoa, New Zealand. Why not hit her up on Snapchat or, if you're really old, please leave a message. Jacinda, Cindy, Helen here. Look, I just wanted to warn you about walking into that trap Gareth Morgan set you in regard to applying lipstick to a pig. Now... In no circumstances should you take the bait and attempt to do this. Now listen, babes, I learnt this the hard way at the UN when George Clooney brought his pet potbelly porker into my office. But I just bought some of that black lipstick that Lord uses and I suggested to George, after a few cheeky chardonnays, that I should give the piggy a little pamper party. Well, anyway, the damn thing swallowed the lipstick whole. <laughs> Started to choke. His little eyes were popping out of its thick little face. George was crying. It was a horrible scene. Not as bad as Purry Hucker or the 2008 election, mind you, but it was pretty bad. Luckily, the German ambassador was passing and gave Clooney swine the Heimlich manoeuvre. The lipstick came sailing out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it uh, loosened up the pig's uh, rear end as well. <laughs> Redecorated the walls with fecal matter. So that is a situation best avoided. Oh, also, don't get into a sauna with David Farrier and uh, keep those teeth nice and clean. OK, bub, I'll call back if I think of anything else. Cheerio. You're back with Ken Oath, the voice of reason. As I was saying, actually, what was I saying? I just better check my notes. Materia, no, cross that one out. Angry Andrew Little, big red line through that. Uh, the one with the bow tie, it's got a big cross through that as well. Uh, in any case, I will tell you what I was on about and why after the news. And there's the pig. The kuni kuni no tsufero a ponake. The Wellingtonian red lipped pig. Mary Jane Perennium with NZR News. Opportunities Party leader Gareth Morgan is in a serious condition in Auckland Hospital after his entire skull exploded during a talk at Auckland University. Morgan's head erupted in what one onlooker described as quite a spectacular fashion towards the end of a lecture. A doctor who has been treating the millionaire for the past year believes it happened because Morgan simply had a few too many ideas. Gareth was told just days ago, in fact, that his head was so overloaded with just crap, really, that if he had even one more idea, his whole brain could explode like some kind of overworked jelly factory. I mean, you've got to understand that some of these ideas are exceedingly complex and totally incoherent at the same time. Dr. Hink van der something. Witnesses say that just prior to the explosion, Morgan was explaining to students how he'd pay them $200 a week not to commit suicide when he appeared to pause in thought. A member of the public captured the moment on their smartphone. Are you guys listening at the back there? You pay attention, will you? OK, you take your $200. Now, you, can you remember that beach that I nearly bought down in the south? Well, forget about that for now, and forget about the blasted cat. Uh, also, if you could put the treaty of Waitangi to the side. Um, now, if we believe that was the moment when he had another idea, probably about a monorail link between Darkville and Tikiwiri or something like that, but there was just no room left. So put that stuff to one side. What you've got to remember is that I had this idea when I was motorcycling through Nepal, which reminds me of another idea, and... Oh, oh, oh my God. Sightings of Mr. Morgan's brain matter have been reported as far away as Waiheke Island. Go ahead, Cor. 